Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Welcome Eliminate back. Today, I'm bringing some TDM gameplay in Call of Duty World War II on the map Gibraltar. Now, do you find yourself dying a lot in this game? Do you find yourself getting shot from multiple different angles? And it all seems a bit chaotic. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to stay alive longer in Call of Duty World War 2, as requested from you guys. So before I start the lesson, let me just say to all of my new viewers, I am a very sweaty player. I play for high KDs. I play for the win. And Infinite Warfare had a 5 KD and a 29 win loss. So I definitely play for the win and I play to a very high standard. And I'm going to be showing you how to get those high KDs and win matches in this game. And look at how I just destroyed these guys. They're not ready for me in World War II. Get melee, boy. So the first thing you have to do is adapt to the division that you are using. In this case here, in this video right now, I am using the Airborne Division, aka the Shockborne Division. Shout out Derek. So of course, if you're using a certain division you have to use a certain weapon type for that division so in this case for the airborne division i'm using an smg now if i wanted to use an assault rifle predominantly then i would use the infantry division because it caters for that type of weapon they work in harmony it will give you the advantage the game is developed to be played like that the second point is you need to slow down your game style in this game it does not cater to a very extreme rusher you can get away with that in infinite warfare and black ops 3 because of the advanced movement however in this game it's more strategical it's more tactical you have to slow your play style down and you can see me these guys are pushing and I'm just taking advantage of that fact. They are feeding me those skills because they are pushing mindlessly. So first of all, you don't want to be a zombie. Don't push mindlessly. Have a goal, have a strategy and tactic in mind to accomplish that goal. And my goal is to absolutely annihilate the enemy team and get them so angry. The third tip is be aware of your minimap. Now the minimap in this game isn't that great. It isn't that detailed but it does display a lot of vital information, such as where your teammates are positioned on the map, where you are positioned on the map, and where the enemies can potentially be, and where they are on the map. Because if they fire an unsuppressed weapon, and a lot of people don't use suppressor in this game, so of course, take advantage of that fact. Look for the red dots and position yourself properly for those gunfights. Which brings me to my other point. You don't want head on face to face gunfights. Look at what's happening here in this gameplay. This was a demonstration to show you guys how effective it can be just by adapting, slowing down a bit and not having those face to face head on gunfights because the lag in this game, it can get you, it can be very inconsistent gunfights. Well, look at this example, they got destroyed. They're not even looking at me. I flanked them, I shot them from the sides. They had no chance. Next very important point is you want to have map control. Look at how I am controlling the middle of the map. I'm making them flow through those choke points. I'm having the elevated position, which will give me the advantage in the gunfight. And I'm getting my streaks by playing this way. It's very important. Having the enemies flow through the choke point and pre-aiming them will give you a significant advantage over the competition. Which brings me to the other point now. You need to use the head glitches in this game. Sledgehammer games are very head glitch dependent. It's whoever is on the head glitch would most likely win the gunfight. So notice as how I navigate the map, I'm going to certain head glitches and I'm actually using those head glitches to my advantage. The next point is you don't want to rush into the enemy spawn by yourself too often because of how the divisions work in this game. Now you guys know me, I love going into the enemy spawn behind enemy lines and absolutely destroying them. But because how the divisions work, the stealth class is in the mountain division and of course it doesn't allow you to have a suppressor on your weapon. So you can go behind enemy lines now and then but you don't want to stay too long behind enemy lines in their spawn 
by yourself because the spawns are extremely strong in this game they will spawn on you multiple opponents will spawn on you and you won't be able to win all of those gunfights because you will find yourself run out of ammo you have to reload and during that reload process you will die the next point is extremely important you want to run the uav score streak in this game why because the mountain division has the stealth class and not a lot of people use the mountain division a lot of people use infantry and the airborne divisions so once you start your uav you will see the majority of the opponents on the minimap so it is going to provide you with so much intel try and also play in a party play with some other friends you will enjoy the game a lot more as well chain those uavs together and the game will flow a lot better than just playing solo by yourself the final point is change your position up don't stay in one place too long change it up move around like what i'm doing here attach a suppressor in close range encounters destroy him in the spawn and move away just like an assassin also remember to adapt to your mistakes if you find yourself dying a certain way multiple times then adapt to it look at that that's how i got killed in the first part but i adapted now and i was expecting him to push on the stairs because i knew i got killed in that area my only death was in that area so i checked it so i hope you guys enjoyed that 19 kd gameplay do leave a like if you did please share the videos guys if you want to see me grow and do subscribe for some very informative videos coming up take care Bye.